Shimpo Instruments Measuring Quality First, you'll plug the power adapter to the back of the unit. The unit also has an internal battery that allows for mobility. Take the set of four torque pins and insert them into the preset holes in the bracket. It is important to make sure that all torque pins are flush. Center the sample and turn the knob in a clockwise fashion to secure it into place with the torque pins. Press the power button to turn on the unit. It should cycle through its startup phase and display zero with the unit of measure it is programmed in. Pressing the mode button allows you to test under three different testing modes, open, close, and mean. In our first example, mean mode is the average data captured in real time for both open and close testing. Using the TMP torque tester in open mode allows you to twist a sample in a counterclockwise motion and measure the amount of peak force. The peak force will remain displayed until the zero button is depressed. Like open mode, closed mode allows you to twist a sample and measure the amount of peak force in a clockwise motion. The closed mode peak force will remain displayed until the zero button is depressed. The TMP series torque meter allows you to store data that can be recalled at a later time. These values can either be displayed on the TMP unit or downloaded to your PC via the Toramon software. By pressing recall, we can see that no data values have been saved. Saving data values while performing testing on the TMP torque meter is an easy task to perform. While performing a test, pressing the memory button will allow you to save the data value into the internal memory. You can do this multiple times in a single test. You can display recorded data on the TMP torque meter by pressing the recall button after testing has been completed. These will be displayed in average, max, and minimum force. Also, you'll be able to see the number of values saved as well as each individual recording. The comparator function compares the measured value of the upper and lower limits that are ideal for quality assurance checks. To activate this feature, press and hold the zero forward slash RST button while powering on the unit. Pressing the recall key will increase the numerical value and pressing the memory key will move left to right to the next digit on the display. You can set the low value by pressing zero forward slash RST and use the same steps as you used before while programming the high values. We are now performing a test based on our program settings for the comparator function. Here we can see that based on the force applied, we were within the set tolerances and the green light is lit. This confirms that our sample has passed inspection. Next, we will set the sampling rate, which is under F02. This can be adjusted between 1, 2, 4, and 8 sampling rates per second. F03 allows you to set the auto power off, which will turn the unit off after 10 seconds.